You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. And she said, it's better to have soap in your hole than... Her no, that's the Well, well, well I'm glad she didn't say that. <laughs> that's wrong. Good evening and welcome to our Halloween special. <laughs> I'm going to put my glasses on because vamp vampires have eyesight problems too. They do. What devilish delights have you got for us this week, Mike? Well, I've got lots of devilish delights. This... Just... All right, okay. You just did that. Like a slightly scared cat. <laughs> Help me. Um, this week, I've got an interesting Halloween-based theme. On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The TV for our website and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names thwop along the bottom of the screen, like all these rancid meat, it's time to get the showbiz from him. <laughs> Some show business. I had something like, in my throat there. You sound then. like a broken cappuccino machine. <laughs> I'm doing my vampire. <sighs> anyway, shall we have some showbiz news? You look silly. So this this <laughs> week, <laughs> yes, uh, because it's Halloween. It is indeed. We're having Halloween themed showbiz news. Ooh. So we're going to talk about ha pumpkin spice lattes. No, oh. they're evil. We're going to talk about celebrities that live in haunted houses. Okay. Celebrities that have seen ghosts. Okay. And celebrities that are indeed ghosts themselves. Oh, okay. Ah. So the first one is Adele. So we, we have well, pictures. She's, she's a ghost. She's not a ghost, but she lived in a haunted house. We've oh. kind of we've kind of um Halloweenified their photographs. So they may not look exactly Doctor. how. Yeah. So they look <laughs> spooky. Okay. <clears throat> so this is zombie um Adele on one side and normal Adele on the other. Which one's so, which? So she, well, I don't know. So she used to live in a mansion in Sussex. Okay. And um, she claimed that she heard strange noises during the night. Mm -hmm. And um, she was so scared that she was forced to hire somebody to stay in the house at night while she slept. Slept? While she slept. <laughs> this Cher doing the update? I'm I was taken over by the spirit of... Um, Cher? No. <laughs> well, she's been Sean Connery. Me. Sean Connery slept. Slept, not stirred. Um... Yeah, so she had to hire a bodyguard because she was so scared. So scared, Mike. Next celebrity who has experienced the paranormal is Kesha, the, Kesha. the singer. Kesha. Okay. I've got a picture of her looking like a zombie here. And she had to move out of her house because it was haunted by a, an entity. Uh -huh. But on the plus side, that entity, <laughs> <laughs> that entity gave her the inspiration for her first hit song. So you know in her song that says wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Yeah. That's how she, she used to say, I used to have all my friends staying over because they used to get freaked out. So we used to all wake up like P. Diddy. <laughs> Don't really know where that fits in. No, I think that's her trying to say. I didn't do lots of drugs and drink, honest. Oh, okay, okay. Robbie Williams. Yeah. He has confessed to um, murder. No, he hasn't. What well, he oh, has come because that would be a crime, <laughs> and that would what you say being illegal. He murdered the dance floor. Like that Sophia was Sophia Lispector, Lispector. Yeah, not him. He didn't do that, but he has admitted that his family home in Wiltshire, uh -huh. that he shares with his wife and his kids, is haunted by something that he does not know which. A, a Kiss fan that's really annoyed with his makeup. <laughs> in one of his children's bedrooms, Teddy, they can no longer sleep in there because there is this child is called Teddy. There's not full of Teddies. Teddy. No, right. That that's worse. They've called their child Teddy. Teddy. Short for Edward I Edward hope. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they've actually named the child Teddy. Teddy. Which is um, like So that. he what he is saying that is a very, very old property, and there are rooms that give him weird feelings when he goes into them. So I get that feeling when I forgot his So he <laughs> So his daughter, who's called Teddy, she just won't sleep in those rooms. <gasps> okay. How old's the child? About, I would say probably about seven or eight. That's fine then. Children are very susceptible to the paranormal they can see things that we adults cannot you don't believe in any of this but i believe i believe that 
buildings that have, have like a lot of stuff going on in them absorb the energy of events. So would I be continually, if I bought a house that used to be a brothel, would I be continually on the horn? If they had door, if they had died there, Ooh. it has to be a, a catastrophic event that kind of replays it back like a, like a record player. Round, round, like a record player, round, round. Record player. Yes. So, celebrities that have seen ghosts. What's up? <gasps> See, the spirits agree with me, Mike. This very studio is haunted by the ghost of a Victorian child. Yes, it is. We've never seen her. No, it doesn't exist because it's all bullshit. Anyway, celebrities that have actually seen ghosts. Mm -hmm. Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Here she's sucking on some ectoplasm. Well, from, who hasn't done that on you know, Saturday night? Um, she, she says that when her great-grandmother died, yeah. her great-grandmother's spirit hung around for three weeks Ooh. in the house. She said, I just saw her fully standing there in the house in a dress and the apron that she used to wear. And then after three weeks, she went away. I'm wondering if she was in fact dead or she kind of was still alive and she got confused on timeline. Do you think possibly? I think it's more likely that um, as a small child she missed the, this great grandparent of hers and on half awake, half sleep days, imagine she was there. Mm. Where, more likely. Where did, where did it crush that dream? When did you ever see a ghost cow? I personally have never seen a ghost right. cow. Why do people never see ghost cows? They do, there are. There are um, stories of herds of cattle burning, running across fields. No, that was the foot and mouth disaster. They had to do that. <laughs> Such a disbeliever. Um, so Matthew McConaughey, mm -hmm. the actor, yes, he was once haunted in one of his houses mm -hmm. by a ghost called Madame Bleu. Okay. And he's like saying, I wasn't high, I wasn't drunk. Right, as soon as you say, I wasn't high, <laughs> I wasn't drunk... That kind of makes me think you were. That, that was him as a zombie there, just before. Okay. He said, wasn't under the influence, and she was there. She didn't really seem to want people around, but he said to her, it's my house, I'm staying here, do one. And she did. Okay. It went on for weeks, and then eventually she just went, bye. Mm-hmm. Mm. But he so, wasn't high and he wasn't drinking. No. Apparently celebrities can be ghosts themselves. Oh, okay. Ooh. Amy Winehouse mm. is allegedly a ghost herself and people have said that they have seen her wandering around Camden Market okay that's because she used to quite like going there and she used to live nearby okay that's not Amy Winehouse that's right. a lucky likey it's a lucky likey yeah oh, dressed as, an, as a ghosty Amy Winehouse oh okay yeah um, Pete Doherty apparently mm -hmm. fled to Paris just after she died because he thought that she was haunting him anyway Anna Nicole Smith Yes, love her. The entertaining lady with the large breasts. So, former Playmate of the Year. Yes, yeah. Who then went on and had the first reality TV show. She did. Married the very, 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 very old gentleman. Mm -hmm. Sadly, she passed away. Yeah, and, and her, her son passed away. And her away son passed so, away. Shortly afterwards. Now, apparently, people believe that they have seen her walking up and down the corridors of the, casino, of the hotel casino where she died. Oh. Just kind of walking, not been doing anything horrible, just walking up and down the Tell corridors. <laughs> um, Did you ever watch the, the Anna Nicole show? Kind of. Not all the way through. Brilliant. It was brilliant. She's done it like that a lot of time. Ah, quite like a drink of vodka. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, love that. Yeah. Um, Marilyn Monroe is apparently a ghost in lots of places. Yeah, she got around, didn't she? She's, she gets around. But she's seen most in near her crypt in Westwood Memorial Centre. It's not a centre, it's a park. <laughs> you can't go shopping. Um, so people often will go and kiss the spot where she's buried. <laughs> um, so they put, <laughs> they put bright red lipstick on. Uh-huh. Kiss. Kiss her spot. Yeah. Kiss her spot. Uh -huh. And apparently a, a, a pink mist has been seen hovering around the ground where she's buried. Okay. I, I would haunt with a pink mist. <laughs> and then finally, we have actual photographic evidence okay. that Elvis still haunts Graceland's. Okay. So we've got a picture Graceland. here. Graceland. 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 <laughs> Graceland. <laughs> so Graceland, <laughs> where he lived, Graceland's, the supermarket. Are they not the same? No. Okay. Graceland's. Graceland. No, 
No, Graceland. West. Graceland. Is where he lives. place, yes. Okay. So here is a picture, allegedly, that was taken on security camera of him uh -huh. walking through the areas in his house. Convenient he, in black and white. Convenient in black and white. And he was mm -hmm. later Elvis, sort of 70s Elvis. Yeah. Apparently, his ex-wife, Pr Priscilla Presley, claims that he comes and visits her regularly. Um, so that picture, mm. people at home, Google double exposure. Because that's how you do that. And that, believers... Is the end of the Halloween showbiz news. <laughs> oh, that's clever. It's it, my aura. I see, I thought it was my feet. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Always good to know that ghosts really do exist. Disclaimer, they do not. You're welcome, Mike. But stick around as next, it's Mike the Unbeliever in the bars. Fifty p in the meter. It is the veil thinning between the here and the there, the here and the there. The only thing that's thinning is my patience between <laughs> here and there. You're watching Chewing the Cod with Lee and Mike. Now let's have him bring us the booze. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I'm a little bit moist, Mike. Being a vampire is hot. A little hot stuff. bit moist. Well, if you're in true blood, then maybe. This isn't really true blood style vampire. No. I just take my top off and show my rippedness. <laughs> then I would be a true blood. Go on then. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some Halloween based stories. Ooh. Right? Yeah, ooh. <laughs> you're getting far too into this. Well, you're the one that's dressed like a like a candy skull. Yeah, this is pretty. Mm-hmm. It is. Well, we've got one behind you. Who wore it better? That one, because I did it. Uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Show, show the show the people at home your your craft. Somebody just drop it then. Look at that. That would go for pennies in a, in a charity shop. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, we bought it for pounds in an actual shop. And now so it's, well, it's literally it. worthless. Yeah. Well done. Look. Lee Robertson, sexy. ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Hi, everybody. It's chewing the cud. I don't know why I was doing it in that voice. Kermit <laughs> <laughs> skull. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, talking of things that are, are slightly wrong and weird, um, news about how, how the dead are getting in contact with people. How are they, Mike? Because you talked about hauntings before. Ooh, yes. Right? And them coming coming over and going, ooh. Um, that was my impression of a ghost. Because yeah, yeah, they don't exist. A gay one. Yeah. No, no, it's, ooh. Oh, oh. Look at that one. Hey, paper. ghost. <laughs> when I died, this was a lovely apartment. They'd come here and put shite all over the walls. Oh. Mm, dirty protest. Right. Um, well, a priest in, in Scotland has claimed that demons are now able to send text messages. Modern. Modern, yeah. Because, you know, they've got contracts. That explains a lot of the messages I've been getting recently, then. Well, when you get a message saying, pay your phone bill, it's overdue, that's not a demon, that's your oh. phone company. Um, Yes, so Stephen Rossetti, a licensed psychiatrist and counsellor, has said that they do it to torment their victims, their families, and any priests attempting to save them. Okay. It's not me texting people going, he's having you on. <sighs> so there must be, a demon must be somewhere sat in a room. With, with a Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> Nokia 3330. Playing, playing <laughs> Snake. Playing Snake. Going, oh, I need to send a few messages. You know who I've not tormented in minutes? Oh. Marjorie. Do, 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 do. Yeah. But the thing is, if it's sorry, someone older might not be checking the messages every two minutes. No. So 14 days later, uh, and the ghost of your dead old. cat. Yeah. I've not had a dead cat. No. <laughs> I do believe that's a bit... See, I do believe in things. That kind of stuff I don't tend to believe in. No. It's a bit crap, isn't it? Bit crap. 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 <laughs> yeah. What, what? Demons being able to send text messages. You, th you would think a demon... Would but just watching you sleep is perfectly fine. No, that's more believable than sending you a text message. Is it? Yeah, I'm more... Ex I'm, I will 
believe that a demon will just appear uh -huh. ooh, and try and, you know, that way. Or try and get your foot if you leave it out the side of your bed. Okay. Because that's what happens. Then a demon sending you a text message. Or off oh, again. Oh, see, it's happening again, Mike. Yeah, it is. I wish you would pay the electric bill. So, yeah, moving on. Because you, you, like, um, you like creepy things. I do. You like a creepy doll. I do. Okay. Well, this is residents of a small Australian town are terrified by a <gasps> creepy doll. Wow. Where is it, Mike? What's it doing? It's, it's being a doll. Because it's a doll. People just freaked out by a doll. Um, so, a small town in Australia... That is disturbing. ...a creeped out by a haunted doll that sits on a swing near a mangrove swamp. That is creepy. It is a little bit creepy. Um, uh, the people of Lucinda, North Queensland, mm. yeah, keep seeing it and it's there. Who put it there, Mike? Did it just appear? It did just appear <gasps> when a child put it there, probably. <clears throat> Have you never heard of Annabelle? Tiffin? No, Annabelle the haunted doll? No. She has to be kept in a case because she's so evil. Okay. That's all I'm putting out there. What's, so. the, what's Annabelle made of? Cloth. A cloth doll. Yeah, there's more, there are, there are more, <laughs> there are more it's things so evil. in heaven than earth, Like We don't know about everything. Don't poo-poo it. F finish that phrase. Finish that phrase. There are more things in heaven than on earth that we are aware of. No. Is that not the phrase? It's Shakespeare. Is it? It's a Shakespeare quote that everyone misquotes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, would, you, would you like to, to just kind of elaborate on the Shakespearean quote? No, because I'll misquote it, because oh. everyone misquotes it. Okay. That's the thing, it's the most misquoted quote ever, and I can't remember it because it's so misquoted, because everyone gets it wrong. Well, thanks for bringing it up, Mike. That's fine, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> we're poking holes in things that we're saying. I've got 11 minutes of the previous part to go through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, has she done anything, or is she just there? She's just there. I mean, it is scary. It's not scary. It's dull. Do you know how it, you know how it stopped being creepy? Two things: petrol and the match. Then you release what's inside it, and then it has to go to the next Fiberglass. conduit, which next could conduit, next conduit, which could be you. Okay. Mm. So you're saying that a doll could enter me? Won't be the first time. The dolls don't enter me. Well, that blow-up one you called Jeff, that you pretended was your boyfriend for about a week. Have you heard of the Yorkshire Ripper? I have heard of him, Mike. Yeah, serial killer. Mmm, scary. Very man. nice. Man. Not pleasant. No, no longer with us. Good. Yeah. Um, well, and urban explorers, we are aware of their work too. They do like to explore things of an urban nature. They do indeed. Well, we have a story here of the two that have met. How can that happen? Well, um, this is an urban explorer who has gone round the Yorkshire Ripper's flat where he murdered his last victim. Hmm, that's unpleasant. It, well, it was a bit dishevelled, but it's all right. Um, so, yes, the, the urban explorer, Lewis Davidson, better known as D, haunted around the spine-chilling room Peter Sutcliffe admitted to killing one of his 13 victims in. Mm. Yeah. You shouldn't mess around with things like that. Like what, a, a room? Going into places that have bad juju, because it's not good. Yeah. Is this flat just left as it was? No, it's, it's, it's derelict. Oh. So that the whole block of flats has basically been just left. I would so have thought they would derelict. have knocked that down. Well, they might do in the future. Because they knocked down... Um, the West's house. The West's house, didn't mm -hmm. they? They did. And have not have any intention of building anything on it. No. Just remain as it is forever. They've left it as a, a, a bit of a garden. A memor memorial. Memor a memorial. Memorial. Yes, even. Memorial. Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible, Memorial. <laughs> That's a terrible Memorial. <clears throat> yeah. um, my whole life's like an Abbasong. It's really not. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got a picture here of the urban explorer himself. Okay. Okay, because um, we've seen a picture of the, the unattractive serial killer. So, not an un unattractive gentleman. No. Mm. No, he isn't. But I do question the fact that he is... Um, Exploring serial killer houses. That's a bit of a deal breaker for Ma. <laughs> okay, so that's the deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. Not the big ring on his finger. Oh, has he got a big I didn't see the big no, ring. It was on, on his, his pinky finger. Oh, okay. Bit. That doesn't mean anything. I didn't like it. It looks no, awful. Okay. No, okay. 
You, the ring is the thing that you don't like. The fact he's creeping around the serial killer's houses. Yeah. That's fine. They're not in the house with the serial killer. No, but it's where they were. Yeah. So if you find out they're in a wimpy burger, would you not go to that wimpy burger anymore? Serial killers have to eat. Yeah, but he didn't kill somebody in the wimpy. Okay. He killed somebody in his flat. That's so it's the just difference. the fact that's that's the bit that, that freaks yeah. you out. Not the fact he was been there, it's the fact he no, killed someone. It, there. They did mean things there. Right, okay. That makes more sense. Um, but if you want to interact with us on social media, I'm not sure why, but it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the cud.tv, and on YouTube we are under Chewing the Cud. And that brings us quite quickly to story of the week. Now, this is a story about not seeing a ghost, mm. hearing a ghost. Because mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to see a ghost because that would be the sight that you would fear most. Mm -hmm. Rather have a piece of toast. Just watch the evening news. Hmm, life. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is a story about a horrified mum who hears a chilling man's voice on a baby monitor. Yeah, Ooh. saying how cute the baby was. <gasps> oh, Ooh. that is horrible. Isn't that awful? Yeah. yeah. Well, it actually turned out that the baby monitor had been hacked. Oh. So someone had, had basically gone into the same frequency as the baby monitor and was then going... Oh, oh and doing cute. it on purpose I'm to scare her. Because ghosts aren't real. Mike, they are, and they have spoken through baby monitors before. Have they? Mm-hmm. Who's? Many. <laughs> Many. <laughs> this is one of those facts that aren't facts, isn't it? I watch Most Haunted. I watch Ghost Adventures. I know what goes on, Mike. It's a thin veil. This thin veil of bullshit on my TV screen. Yes. See, they don't like it when you when you make fun of a mic. They it's don't dodgy like it. Dodgy electrics. Maybe. We've not paid the bill. Loves dick. Mike loves dick too. <laughs> <laughs> and on that revelation from the other side, that's the end of the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. You will. Get your comeuppance in the afterlife. Yay! Mm. Stick around, as coming up we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and we're still having our electrical problems with the lights that Lee believes is a ghost. This week we have a new game, and this one is for Nosfart 2 over there. So, off you pop. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple, and it is in no way whatsoever the gobby game show with a set of vampire teeth to make it something Halloween-y, honest. Lee has to describe what's on a card while his mouth hole is filled with a pair of vampire teeth. Yeah, it's a Gobby Game Show. You ready, Lee? I am. What are you going to be going from? Oh, you've got your cards. I have got my cards. Okay. They are all famous horror films. For it is Halloween. Okay. So it's something because it's something. I don't know what you're saying. I'm going to describe horror films. All right, love. You All right. It? All yeah. right. I look like Pat Butcher, then. Like a low-rent Pat Butcher. Are you ready? I am, Pat. Okay. So. This is in a hotel in the wintertime. Ooh. On the typewriter. Doing the story, little boy. Rat run, rat run, rat run! Play with us, Danny. Come and play with us. This is porn. No. No. Here's Danny. Oh, no! One flew over a cuckoo's nest. No, it's a horror film. Don't that go is into a horror that film. Room. The guy gets a lobotomy at the end. That's horrific. What? One flew over a cuckoo's nest. No, it's not one flew over. It's a horror film. Horror film. Okay. Um, running through the snow on the in the maze. I'll get you, Danny. 
Mmm, froze. Froze to death the day after. It's that film that I can never remember the name of. It's that film that what? I can never remember the name of. <sighs> With the axe through the door and he ah, that one. Yeah, I can never remember it. The Shining. What? The Shining. No, I can't remember the name of the film. The Shining! That's the name of the film. Oh, okay. Okay. Next one. Red Balloons. This is Nina. No. 99 red balloons floating through the summer sky. Clown, which is evil. All clowns are evil. We all float down here. <laughs> you see, float, float. I've now got it because I know you misquote the film. Right? So that's it. It is it. Everybody floats. People write in and say, is he stupid on purpose? And I say, yes, he is stupid. Right. This one, mm -hmm. in a spooky house, close all the blinds, all the curtains, don't let the sunlight in because the children don't like it. Um, she goes, are you my daughter? Yes. No, she doesn't say that. She goes into the bedroom and she's dressed in a spooky white bronze outfit and she goes, are you my daughter? I am your mother. I am your daughter. Are you mad? <laughs> are you having some form of seizure? <laughs> Nicole Kidman is the mother. Right, OK. Now, I'm going to stop you there, because if you're talking about the others, I'm yeah. legally allowed to slap you. Why? Because you butchered the whole concept. Well, I, did, I said it. You got it. Point. Nicole Kidman in a horror movie, that's all I got, and that's the only one I've seen her in. Next one. Broken cappuccino machine. Whoa. No. Um. <laughs> Is he stupid, they write in and ask. No, that's what I have to deal with. Mm. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not no, what I meant. That's not. Um, when, the, when you pass away and then you get up again and you're hungry for brains, it's that time. So... It's the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Of the. But I like. Get it? Got it? Oh, no. good. No. Brains. Right, zombie. Yeah. But. Monday, Tuesday, what are those? What? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what are those? Days. Yeah. So, day of the... What happens when your heart stops beating? You are... In the hospital, hopefully. When your heart stops beating, what, what, what happens? They come and zap you with the paddles and go clear. Day of the dead. Moved on myself. <laughs> okay. Little ginger haired doll. Chucky. Mmm, yeah, but what's the name of the film? Right, I've just managed to get one on the first clue, and you're telling me no because I don't know the exact name of the film. Because that's not what written on my card. That's not the name of the film. That's why they're in the franchise. Everybody watching this will have gone, yeah, Chucky, I'd have accepted that. No, they're not. They're going to go, you idiot. That is not the name of the film. They're going to say, it's called... <laughs> but they would have accepted Chucky. No. Yeah, they would have. So, what is the name of the film? I'm not going to say now. <laughs> Child's play. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Tippy Hendren, walking along the street... Do that again. Tippy Hendren, actress. Okay. Walking along the street. Ah! Ah! Pecking in her head. Wah! Wah! Lots of them. Things pecking their head. <laughs> Lots of them. Have you been in a film? The film. The film called The Lee Robertson Experience. Alfred Hitchcock. Hmm. 
Very famous film. It's the birds? Yes. Well than you. Yeah. I'm not buzzing in anymore. <clears throat> in space, no one can hear you scream. Because <clears throat> you can't scream in space. Let's go to this planet. Ooh, what are them weird egg things? Let's stick my face in it. Ooh, I'm all right now. Let's have some food. Ooh, what's coming out of the chest? Goes up. Big, big massive thing. Little mouth inside the big mouth. You subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Get away from her, you bitch. You have subscribed to my OnlyFans. Well, I was kind of sad. Well, let's let's see a horror film that's yeah. got the, the line in "Get away from a you bitch." Yeah, dripping from its dripping. mouth. Dripping. Dripping. Dripping from its mouth. Acid. Uh huh. Yeah. See, the only thing I can think of that's got a film like that is the science fiction film Alien. It is Alien, and it is a horror film. Science fiction film. Whatever. Oh, okay. We're going to need a bigger boat. Darren, 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 Are you talking about the thriller movie Jaws? Horror film Jaws. Well done. Do you want another one or is that it? No, let's go on all the other genres. Let's do the comedy film now. Okay, stay in America. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Something that is used to chop up trees, but they used it to chop up people. <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. Jump. Dead. My favourite part of that film is when she produces the gun from Upper Chuff. The what? She gets a gun from Upper Chuff. She get, she's a, a chainsaw up a chuff? No, a gun. So the girl that's sort of like trying to flee, they pick up the hitchhiker right at the start of the movie. They pick up a hitchhiker and they start driving towards the, the house and she goes, no, don't go back there, don't go back there. R produces a gun from up a, up a nunny, right, and blows her brains out. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah, well, it's the Texas it. Chainsaw Massacre. What's the film, Mike? I've already answered that. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well done, you. Which is actually a horror thriller. Well done, you. <sighs> Yes, after this quick break, it's that science that is Halloween edition. Why'd you leave me, Pat? Why'd you leave me, Pat? Welcome back to Doing the Good. Now it is the part of the show that is that science that is. <laughs> Science, that is. Halloween. You know what's good at Halloween, Lee? What? What's good for Halloween? What's good for Halloween? At Halloween, yeah. Spooky things. Parties. Halloween parties. Oh, okay. Right. I know it's even the best thing about Halloween party. It's the hangover the next day. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, when, you, when you've got a hangover, if you think that far back, so you don't really drink that often. But, Never. Do you know the, the feeling a bit sick in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, we've all been sick. Have you ever wondered... Oh, was about feeling a bit sick then myself, actually. Oh, well, good. Um, have you ever wondered what's in sick? No, oh, Mike, I've never, but I have a horrible, horrible feeling we're going to find out. We are. So we're going to replicate sick after a night out. Great. Yeah. So the first thing we need is we need some stomach acid. Yeah. Okay. So that's the clear liquid in your little pink glass. Mine's in a yellow glass. So that's that's just basic acid. So pop that into your stomach, which is your bowl. Mmm. And now the reason you have stomach acid is because it helps dissolve and break down the food. I I, I grasped that. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Now, when you're going on a night out, you start off with a sensible drink, don't you? Do you? Yeah. So you've got some Prosecco in a glass. 
Okay. So find your Prosecco. Is that the yellow stuff? Kind of pale yellow -y stuff? The fizzy, fizzy booze. Mm, nice. So I start off on the Prosecco. Okay, so that's very, that's very acidy anyway. Fizzy. Fizzy, okay. And then after you've had a couple, you go on to the weird drinks. Mm. Okay, so you should have a shot of cherry brandy. Is that this stuff? It's the stuff that smells like cherries. Doesn't smell like cherries, smells like acid, but... Yeah, it still smells like cherries, yeah. So in that goes. Oh! Did you drink some? Oh! Are we not supposed to drink it? You can, but I wasn't expecting it. <gasps> I'm impressed you drank some cherry brandy. I've got a voice left now. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, do you remember, I was going to say a little while ago, we made Christmas gin. Yes. You should have some Christmas gin there as well. What colour is that, Mike? Um, it's like a, a, a brownie whiskey colour. I think that might have been the cherry brandy that I poured in. <laughs> okay. So if you... <laughs> I have orange juice and uh -huh. I have milk. Oh, we've not got cherry... Oh. You never, you never gave me any gin. Oh well, that's more for me. Oh. Not a problem there. My lips are burning. They will do if you just drank cheap, neat cherry brandy. <laughs> are you going to be okay to drive later? Well, I only had a tiny, tiny lip full. Yeah, but I know that you don't drink, so you're going to be yeah. okay to drive later. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, end of the night out, you try and sober up with some orange juice. Okay. So in that goes. Nice. Yeah, it's actual orange juice as well. So far, I'm not hating this mixture. You're not hating this mixture? No. Okay. Um, what's, what else helps to sober you up after the night out, do you think? Um, food? A little bit of food. Okay. So for the food, you've got a... My favourite is a chocolate mini roll. Okay. Okay. But before you eat, before your food gets to the stomach, you have to chew it, don't you? I'm not chewing something up and spitting it in a bowl, Mike. I wasn't going to ask have... you to. I was just going to ask you to break it up. Okay. <laughs> I do have some standards. <laughs> well, hmm. You just instantly went for, for chewing up food, but you have to make sure it's broken up quite a lot. Okay. Because you're replicating mastication. <laughs> and then you've also got a, a lovely breakfast pain au chocolat. Mmm. Because why not when you... <laughs> You're just eating the food now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I've got to crumble that in. You've got to, you've got to make it into the sick. It's got to make it into the sickly. You don't have to do the whole one, because you know what? You're drunk, you might not finish it. Leave it for the morning. Or for now. Okay, Lee, quick question. Mm hmm <laughs> What are you going to do to talk now? Mm hmm mm hmm we know that you're no good at the Gobby Game Show. This isn't going to work. Swallowed it, Mike. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, and then in the morning, you might think, oh, I need something to line my stomach a bit, so you'll have some milk. Ooh. I mean, goes to the milk, some milk as well. Now, the problem with this is you've just mixed milk with acidic substances, which will make everything start to curdle. Right, and so so there's mine as well. It started to curdle. Okay. So that that's that's the basic sick. But what have you noticed is missing from your basic sick? Um, teeth. Teeth? No, is that just me? No. Um, carrot, Mike. Carrot. carrot. Now, some people say that you don't actually get carrot in your sick. It's actually stomach lining. Uh. Yeah. But what people don't know is that's not true. Oh. That what happens is, while you're asleep, every night, a gremlin pops up and pops a little bit of carrot in your mouth. Really? Yeah. And so that's why when you, sometimes you wake up, you're... Because you're eating the carrot. What about sweet corn? No, that just stays in your poo forever. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's not stomach lining. It's actually a bit of carrot put in there by a gremlin. The, the carrot elf has brought. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to pop your carrot in? Whole, or break it up. Don't tend to vomit an entire whole carrot. Well, that's because you take a while. If you if it's straight after the, the gremlin's been there, 
then you'd throw up a whole carrot because it's just put the whole carrot in your mouth. It's a very tough carrot. I, I think I'm just going to have to... That's great telly, isn't it, that? <laughs> if you just chew something and spat it into a bowl, something you're not going to do categorically. <laughs> <sighs> well, I don't want to eat the carrot. Okay. Want, <laughs> the <other> <laughs> Can I just put in a little bit of carrot in mine? So that's our basic sick. Oh, well, that's beautiful, Mike. So do you want to give it a bit of a try? No. Why not? Because it's all it's... edible food you've just put in don't there. don't care. It's all curdled and manky and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the gallery are going to try it. <laughs> they are indeed going to try it. Try it's right. not happening. Do a little dib on your finger and taste it. I don't it. want to. Because I'm going to have to taste it, so well, you should you taste go, it. Babe. You have to do it at the same time. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I am Count Dracula and I do not have to. <laughs> Did you just go, I am Count Dracula I don't have to. <laughs> I am Count Dracula, king of the undead, excuse me while I fix my do, and I don't have to do diddly squat. Are you going to go slap your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, I'm going to try it. Go for it. I don't believe I can see any on the spoon, Mike. <laughs> I think you need to, come on, let's fill that spoon. If you're gonna try it, try it. Big spoonful, babes. No. <laughs> Those reactions do not make me feel like I want to drink spew. Don't, calorie going, come on. You get your asses up here, sit on this chair. You have some. No. I don't want to. I'm not a child. I'm not. You're not gonna. You're not. You're not gonna cajole me into drinking vomit. No. I had it with the brains and the stuff from the other year and the offal. You didn't try any of that though. I made it <laughs> one thing. <laughs> but I'm not taste. I'm not. Mm. Convincing. Convincing as your Dracula, darling. <laughs> but yeah, after after that triumph of oh, remember the other week we made plastic? Yeah. Guess what's happening in my bowl? Is it turning into plastic? We're making plastic. Oh, that's exciting. So that's not gone to waste at all. No. But that science that is. That science that is. Why have you poured it into a glass, Lee? Gonna cheers to Halloween at the end of the, the show. Oh, okay. Oh, I've not brought any. Such oh, a shame. Never no. mind. Yeah. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube and podcast services, search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Go on, just have a little bit. No, I've, I've had some already. Oh, you have more? I've some more, no, Mike. I'm blowing glitter from my face. Some more. <laughs>